Hi there, this is Nathan. Today I'm going to show you how to substitute a color image for the black and white snapshot you get when you import context from Google Earth. I'm also going to show you how to use your color image to paint a roof. Okay, so now you have Google Earth open. You can find your building. And here we have a building that we chose uh, in MIT's campus in Cambridge. So let's zoom in on it and try and get it in the middle of our screen. Okay, so here we are. And now from here, when you export into SketchUp, it's best to have everything in north-south axes and looking straight down on your building. So to do this, there's a default in Google Earth that if you press R, it'll pull you to north-south and look straight above what you're centered on. So let's just do that now. And there you go. So you can see, there it is. So you can just zoom in a little bit more if you need to. Keep it kind of in the center. And from here, your next step will be going to the File menu. Choose Save, Save Image, let's name this Our Roof, save that. Okay, so now that just saved a JPEG of our image, so now you can open up a SketchUp file. Here we have one, and in SketchUp, what you need to do to get your current terrain of view is choose Get Current View, so let's click that. As you can see, it imported our view from Google Earth, and this is black and white, and that's soon to be remedied when we make it a color image. So, all right, so here we have our snapshot, and if you click on it, you'll see it's bounded in red, meaning it's locked. So just right-click on it, choose Unlock. That'll let us edit this thing. This is a group, so what you need to do is, with your Select tool, double-click, on the group. There we go. Now we can edit this thing. And so before we can import a texture, what we need to do is we need to be able to see these lines along the edges. As you can see, they aren't showing up. So uh, go up to your view menu. Choose hidden geometry. There you go. So now that they've showed up, we can import our color texture. So choose the, your file menu. And choose import. Let's find our roof. And our roof, there it is, our roof. <laughs> and what you need to make sure in this step is to make sure that when you're importing, you select use as texture, not use as image or photo match, use as texture. This is very important. So let's click that and let's import this thing. Oh, here we go. See, we got our paint bucket up and let's just choose this, cho this corner down here. And let's drag this all the way up to our other corner. See that green instance? That means we found the endpoint, so we're in the right spot. So let's click that. Okay. As you can see, it's kind of a little off kilter. Not everything's quite lining up, it looks like. So let's uh, let's edit this texture. And to do that, we need to right click on the texture. We get this menu. Choose texture. Go to position. And this is the texture tweaker. These are the Four pins of glory, as some people say. Nah, not me. Just kidding. Not me. But uh, okay. So here we have our, our basic pins, and what we need to do is make sure that all our four pins are yellow. And to do this, right-click on it again, and let's take fix pins off. There we go. Makes this really easy. So just grab a pin, click on it once. Sorry. Click and hold. Pull it to your corner. Click and hold another one. And let's just pull this so that. We're on all four corners. So now everything's lining up. So we can just right click, select done. Here we have it. We now have our nice color texture. So, but before we do anything else, we need to right click on this one more time. Go down to texture again and choose and choose projected. This will allow us to uh, paint from it pretty easily. So uh, now we are totally done. We can just click outside the group and there we are. So you can see group's still editable and we need to change that to be locked just so you don't move it around and mess anything up. So right click on it. Choose lock. And now that's locked. So now we have our nice color image. It's even a little higher res. Looks really nice. And uh, so from here on you, you know you can start drawing your building. So let's actually draw this. So to start, to start off we should probably change our axes. So we go to the tool menu, choose axes, 
and then let's just set our axes. Find a good corner of this building, a pretty obvious line. Start there. Click once. Pull this out. Get a good line there. And then just pull this again so you see this, this the other direction and blue is heading up. That's always important. So I think we're good. There we are. We got that all set up. So now we can start drawing. So let's choose our rectangular rectangle tool. Let's draw the mass of the building like that. And now we can use our push pull tool. Oh, and then we have a building. As you can see, the, the roof hasn't showed up yet. And what you need to do for this is choose your paint bucket tool. Here we are. And then while you have it open, you need to press down Alt if you have a PC or Command, and you'll get this eyedropper. Use the eyedropper to select your color texture. Just click on it once. So you can see it pulled up there in my color palette. And then you can just take off Alt and just paint right on your roof. And there you have your beautiful color roof. And from here, it's really easy to just kind of start, start filling in things and making it look great. Use your push pull tool again. You know, just it's why it's what makes this look good is the color image. All of a sudden, your your building looks really realistic. Um, hope you enjoyed this tip, and uh, thanks again.